December 7, 1941, was the last day of realization, after which the map of the world was going to change forever. A disaster was about to break out at the U.S. Navy base that no one could have predicted. Doris Miller, an African-American porter aboard the battleship, serves breakfast to the Navy officers at sunrise and then gets to work on their laundry collection. At 7.57 in the morning, Doris hears a siren that no sailor wants to hear in his service. He immediately springs out and is surprised to see that the entire sky is filled with Japanese bomber aircraft. In the blink of an eye, the entire naval base was like a doomsday because the Japanese aircraft started to destroy the American ship little by little. Why did you have such a big courage to attack the country? Why was a chef named Doris Miller given America's highest award, and why did America launch a nuclear attack on Japan? Viewers, our interesting story begins in 1941, when the United States put everything at stake to save China in World War II. Three years had passed since the start of World War II, in which Germany and Italy were on one side, while Britain, the Netherlands, and France were on the other side. America had no part in this war. America was completely neutral because World War II. Due to the losses in World War I, the United States wanted to keep itself completely separate from the war in Europe and Asia. But there was one country that was constantly being persecuted by the United States, and that was Japan. Due to Japan's lack of natural resources, it in order to meet the demands of its natural resources, Japan had occupied large areas of Korea, Taiwan, and China. In the Pacific Ocean, the Philippines, Malaysia, and Indonesia were also occupied near Japan. It was his view, but the problem was that Malaysia was a British colony, Indonesia was a colony of the Netherlands, and the Philippines was a colony of the neutral United States. Hitler was an enemy of Britain and the United States. Seeing these actions of Japan in July 1941, the United States stopped supplying oil to Japan. Japan did not have its own oil, but it used to import 80% of its demand from the United States. America put this condition in front of him that first he will have to give up his occupation in China and then go and give him oil. It was a very difficult decision for Japan. The whole world would have thought that he had bowed his knees to America despite the support of Hitler. On the other hand, there was oil, without which Japan's hold would have been weakened. Inside, he planned to conquer Indonesia for oil. But this task was not so easy as we already know that Indonesia was a colony of the Netherlands at that time, and it was necessary to reach there. The Philippines should be occupied first Japan, which was a colony of the United States, knew very well that if it attacked the Philippines, it would be retaliated from the American naval base at Pearl Harbor in the Pacific Ocean. But because Japan was now rapidly depleting its oil reserves, were becoming and they had no other option but to attack, not on the Philippines, but on Pearl Harbor. Japan was now preparing for a sneak attack on Pearl Harbor. It began preparing its fleet, which included two battleships, 39 submarines, 30 destroyers, and surprise. At the time of the attack, there were 414 bomber aircraft. These aircraft were sent to Pearl Harbor by six aircraft carriers. On the other hand, if the American force at Pearl Harbor is estimated, it includes eight battleships, 59 anti-aircraft ships, four submarines, and 390 aircraft. If seen, America had enough force to defeat Japan's attack, but it was necessary for them to get the information of this attack in advance. But Japan wanted to keep this attack secret in every way. That's why the Japanese commander the attack continued for a full hour and 15 minutes, in which Japan's plan is in every way, and more than 300 planes were destroyed standing up. The ground was covered in fire and the sky was covered in black wash clouds. During laundry collection, Doris heard a siren. By the time he comes out after hearing this terrible siren, a Japanese torpedo missile has landed on his ship, in which the ship captains Samet and many officers have been injured. Doris single-handedly shifted the wounded to a safe place and then went to the anti-aircraft machine gun and turned and attacked the Japanese aircraft himself. He shot down a total of six Japanese aircraft without training, while Japan lost a total of 29 aircraft in this attack. Doris Miller was the first African-American to be later awarded the Navy Cross. This award is the highest in the U.S. Navy and the second highest in the United States after the, the Medal of Honor. After an hour and 15 minutes of attack, 
the Japanese aircraft retreated, but they had now also pushed America into World War II, the same United States that was not involved in World War II before this attack. The day after the attack on Pearl Harbor, America decided to teach Japan a lesson and declared open war against them. For the next three months, the U.S. continued to restore its naval base. Fortunately, several ships sunk in the shallow water were repairable. Four months later, the United States attacked Japan, just as they had done at Pearl Harbor. Yes, in April 1942, America rained bombs on Japan's capital, Tokyo. This was America's first attack in World War II, but America did not stop after that. For the next four years, Japan and the United States fought fiercely, with the United States now taking a heavy lead. Japan had become very weak in this war, but it was not giving up in any case. Wasn't surrendering to the Americans. Finally, in August 1945, America played its last card against Japan. At 8 o'clock in the morning on August 6, 1945, a Boeing B-29 Superfortress aircraft was spotted over the city of Hiroshima, Japan. The plane dropped the 4,400 kilograms Little Boy Bomb on Hiroshima. There was a loud explosion, and everything went white. After that, a fireball went from the Earth to the sky, which raised the temperature of the Earth to 5,000 degrees Celsius. It was the first nuclear attack in history that reduced more than 80% of the buildings on Hiroshima to dust in just one stroke. It was as if the ground had slipped under the feet of the Japanese military leaders. Now they understand something else that after three days on August 9th, the United States dropped a nuclear bomb on the city of Nagasaki in Japan. It was a Mark III boom code named Fat Man. This boom, weighing 4,670 kilograms, obliterated the entire city. These two nuclear bombs were the first and last bombs used on humans. According to an estimate, around 260,000 people were killed in the Hiroshima and Nagasaki attacks. The week after this attack, Japan surrendered to the United States, and with it, World War II also came to an end. Hope you will like and share this video of Know Now. Thank you so much for your kind comments. See you in the next wonderful video.